You want to know about last night? Well, it got kind of ugly. I'd like to talk about how you need 16 wins to win the Stanley Cup. The Kings got number 10 last night, going up 2-0 on the Coyotes. I'd love to talk to you about Jonathan Quick's 24-save shutout. And I'd like to talk to you about Jeff Carter's hat trick, but that really wasn't the biggest story of the game. You know what? I'm not going to let the crap that happened overshadow something like a hat trick. Let's talk about it anyway. Jeff Carter's season filled with obviously a lot of turmoil with the Blue Jackets, but then he is a huge deadline acquisition for the Kings and he only gets four points in his first 10 playoff games. Miserable performance offensively so far, but luckily for him, the Kings were doing great anyway. Well, last night, boom, 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 three goals, two of them on the power play, almost doubling his playoff point total with the hat trick. Carter with nine points in 16 regular season games with the Kings. Not amazing, not awful either. But one thing you definitely notice, whether he's producing or not, the Kings are better with Carter in the lineup. And now we move on to the sideshow. Well, the Coyotes, maybe they were upset. They were losing, they were upset because of the Kings' frustration defensive style I don't know but they got upset here's Mike Smith chopping down Dustin Brown like a redwood Smith's getting one as well I think they're both going off yeah oh that's a that's a real good piece of lumber yeah. to the back and in fact Smith actually uses a a one-piece goaltender stick and it's he gets he gets all of it right there composite graphite you name it you know what's awesome? They gave Brown a diving call for that. Now, could that have been diving? Because if it was, we need to give Dustin Brown the Oscar right now. Because that looked like it really hurt. And the other thing about that, of all the missed diving calls in these playoffs, that got called? All right. I won't get on the ref too bad. He's got a tough job and I sure ain't doing it. And now we'll call some Phoenix fans are a little upset with, and I think rightfully so, Shane Doan gets tossed for boarding Trevor Lewis. Just look. Out of the game. So there's the first one that's on Lanco, and here's going to be the second one on Shane Doan. As Doan finishes his check, and you see Lewis's face crash up into the boards. There goes Shane Doan down the tunnel to the locker room. We'll see what the call is on him. Now, if you look, Lewis is facing Doan as the Shane Doan freight train comes barreling down on him, and then he turns around. I don't care how good or bad of a skater Shane Doan is, there's nothing he's going to do to stop that from happening. I don't think he should have got tossed for that. Martin Hansel, on the other hand, look at this. Pretty much an open net for Verbata through the, through the traffic. And he, oh, there's oh, a heavy a hit by game. Hansel, and Dustin Brown's down, and up, checking up the clock to see what freak train hit him. That is brutal, and I think Brendan Shanahan's going to have a look at that. And I don't know about you, but I think I saw enough of this in the Penguins-Flyers series. Don't get me wrong, I love some good old-fashioned hockey, hits, fights, some genuine hatred. But stuff like that, the game doesn't need that. But how about them Kings up 2-0 in round 3? Looking to also go up 2-0 in their series, the New York Rangers host the New Jersey Devils for Game 2 in New York. You can watch that one right here on CBC. Don't forget a little bit of a later start time. That starts at 8 Eastern. Until then, get at me online. Let me know what you think about the hits in the Coyotes game. Are they suspendable? And will the Devils tie up their series with the Rangers? Or will the Rangers go up 2-0?